Welcome to an introduction to integers. The goals of this video are to define the set of integers, compare integers using inequality symbols, define the absolute value of an integer, and then determine the opposite of an integer. Integers are the numbers that belong to the following set. You can think of this set as whole numbers combined with the non-zero negative whole numbers. Remember the whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So if we include the negative of the non-zero whole numbers, we would include negative one, ne negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. And this is the set of integers. So if you're wondering why we should talk about negative whole numbers, there are a lot of real life applications for negative numbers. For example, for example, have you ever overdrawn your checking account? For example, if your balance is fifty dollars and you write a check for seventy dollars, you would be overdrawn by twenty dollars. So it's better to represent that amount as negative twenty dollars because that's money that you owe. Or what about when you get your credit card statement in the mail? It's not listed as a negative number, but it really should be because because if you have a credit card balance of three hundred fifty dollars, you really owe that money. So it would be better represented by a negative three hundred fifty dollars that you owe. Or if you watch a football game and a football team loses four yards on a play, you could use negative four yards to represent the result of that play. Let's talk about comparing integers. We can compare integers using inequality notation. We read inequality statements from left to right just as we read a sentence. We would read this, A is less than B. And if the inequality symbol is reversed, we would have A is greater than B. Remember, if you think of this as an alligator mouth, the alligator likes to eat the larger number. So in trying to compare integers, it's often helpful to plot them on the number line because the larger numbers are always to the right and the smaller numbers are always to the left. So for example, if we want to compare, let's say, five to negative three, well, here's positive five and here's negative three. Five is greater than negative three because five is to the right of negative three. Remember this is equivalent to saying negative three is less than five. Notice how the inequality points to the negative three in both cases or it opens toward the five in both cases. Let's take a look at a few more examples of these. We want to compare the following integers using less than or greater than. So let's go ahead and plot these two on the number line. We have negative three is here, positive four is here. So we know that since negative three is to the left of positive four, negative three is less than positive four. For the next example, we want to compare negative three and negative six. Here's negative three, here's negative six. We're starting here with negative three. Negative three is to the right of negative six. Therefore, negative three is greater than negative six. Now let's talk about absolute value. The absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero. And distance is always positive. If you get in your car and drive from home to school or from school to home, in both cases the distance is positive. So you can think of it that way as well. And we use a vertical bar to represent absolute value. So here we want to determine the absolute value of positive five. Well, positive five is five units from zero, so this is equal to positive five. Well, the absolute value of negative five, here's negative five, well, the distance from negative five to zero is also five units. So these two numbers have the same absolute value. And again, notice that the absolute value of positive and negative integers will always be positive. Let's go ahead and do a couple more comparisons using less than, greater than, or equal. To do this, I recommend evaluating the absolute value first. The absolute value of negative five is five, because negative five is five units from zero. So we're really comparing positive five and positive four. Well, it, well of course we know that five is greater than four, so we use the same inequality to compare the absolute value of negative five and positive four. For the second example, the absolute value of negative three would be three. The absolute value of negative six would be six. We know that three is less than six, so we use the same inequality to compare these two absolute values. 
Now let's talk about one more topic. Opposites are two numbers that have the same distance from zero. So the opposite of positive four, what other number would be the same distance from zero? Well, that would be negative four. They're both four units from zero. The opposite of positive seven would of course then be negative seven. So now when we're asked to find the opposite of negative five, we can see from the number line it's going to be positive five. But one thing I want to point out here is for the first two examples, we just took the opposite or negative of the given number. So we could say the opposite of negative five is the negative or opposite of negative five, which gives us positive five. And that's a little bit confusing, but again, you can think of it as the opposite of negative five is equal to positive five. And that's important to recognize because sometimes when working through problems we will encounter a double negative or the opposite of a negative. And the last example, the opposite of negative two, of course, would be positive two. But again, just reviewing this notation here, we could write it as the opposite of negative two is equal to positive two. But if you're thinking, why can't I just change the sign to determine the opposite of a given integer? And you can, as we see here, but again, we will see this notation here occasionally, so it's important to recognize that this would be positive five and this would be positive two. We'll go ahead and stop here for this intro video. I hope you found this helpful.